Shalom Yashrala, we're gonna start by giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai. Double honors to the elders of GMS and honors to you brothers that are doing the work in sincerity and truth. Now here it is, people still don't fully grasp the concept of reincarnation, or rather you break it down to them and they'll still bark up against the truth. But what they don't realize is, without reincarnation, this will make the most high lie. And as, as we see on the screen here, that is contrary to the um, to what the scriptures say. Because it says the most high is not a man that he should lie. That's Numbers 23 and 19. And I'll um, just show you what I mean by that. It says 2 Samuel 7 and 12. It says, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed after thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Now this is um, talking about, uh, uh, it says most high talking to King David. It says, um, he shall build an house for my name, and I will establish his throne for his kingdom forever. Now, which one of King David's children was a king and well well no or was a um so like which one of king david's children built a house for for the most high that was king solomon um so this is who it's talking about and it says i will be his father and he shall be my son if he commit iniquity i will chase him with the rod of men and with the straps of the children of men now who did this uh did did this happen to king solomon no, it didn't. Well, maybe he didn't go off. Well, let's find out whether he went off or not. This is First Kings 11 and 1. It says, But King Solomon loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Zidonians, and Hittites, um, of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go in unto them, neither shall they come in unto you, for surely they will t turn away your hearts after their gods. Solomon clave unto these in love. And he had seven hundred wives, princesses, and three hundred concubines, and his wife turned away his heart. For it came to pass when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods, and his heart was not perfect with the Lord his power, as was the heart of David his father. It says, For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abominations of the Ammonites. And just to add a quick one on Ashtoreth, that's where you get Semiramis from, I mean, Ashtoreth, Easter, Esther, and um, Semiramis are all the same person. It's just the same pagan stories passed down um, through the generations and just given different names. Now, as you can read here, King Solomon went off, but he was he was never chastened with the rod of men. Now, if you're reading this scripture, you will say, whoa, 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 this is the Bible contradicting itself. No, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. If, if the Bible ever looks like it's contradicting itself, that's you. You don't understand the scriptures. You know, and um, now let, let's see who was chastened with the rod of men. It says uh, Matthew 27 and uh, where should I start from? Let me start from uh, 27. It says, then the soldiers of the governor took Yahweh Shan to the common hall and guarded unto him the whole band of soldiers and they stripped him and put put on him a scarlet robe and when they had plaited a crown of thorns they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying hail king of the jews and they spit on him took the reed and smote him on the head it says um uh john 19 and 1 it says then pilate therefore took yahweh shai and scourged him and when you look up this word scourge, it means to whip someone as a punishment. Now, the mo Yahweh was 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 without sin, so he was being uh, scourged with the rod of men for no reason, or was there a reason? And that reason is because Yahweh is King Solomon in the reincarnation. I mean, this is it's a lot deep. I'm just touching on this um, on the surface. But this is where this 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 um this here was fulfilled. This warning here was fulfilled. It says if you commit iniquity, I will chasten them with the rod of men. King Solomon wasn't um chasing with the rod of men or with the rod of men. However, Yahweh was chastened with the rod of men. Let me just get up Matthew one quickly. It says. The book of the generation of Yahweh Shammashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham, because that I mean, that here is 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 this 
is the reincarnation that we're talking about here. Um, let me go to Malachi 4 and 5. It says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day. Now, I mean, is he going to bring Elijah out from the dead? What, what, what's going to happen here? What's the most high planning to do? But then you jump into Matthew 11. It says, Matthew 11 and 12. It says, And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. Now, if this wasn't, if John the Baptist, if this isn't reincarnation and this isn't um, Elijah, if John ba and John the Baptist wasn't Elijah, then this here was never fulfilled. This here was never fulfilled, which would then make the Most High lie. But as we read in the beginning, the Most High is not a man that he should lie. Now, this is, um, this is the mentality we all should really be in in this day and age. Um, this is the, the, the disciples basically were asking, them, um, asking Yahweh Shai, when are these things going to come? When are you going to bring the kingdom? It says, um, it says, Matthew 24 and 3, it says, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Now, if I jump to 34, 34, it says, Very last say unto you, this generation shall not pass until um, these things be fulfilled. Now, if you read up on further on, it's um, the, the, the way the conversation is going, it says, and then they will um, come against you. They will do this to you. Now, the, most, the, the, the kingdom didn't come during the time of these disciples. But it's going to come in the time of those disciples. Was these same men here are still on the earth right now? They're 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 teaching on the corners of um of streets every Saturday, you know, uh, or whenever they can. They're on the internet um uh, making videos, teaching you and making you basically learn the truth. Because these are the same men that I hear that were there before I hear now. Now, if this isn't the case, that will mean Yahweh Shai is lying. Which is just, <laughs> it's, it's foolish to suggest, to even try to suggest that. It says, Acts 1 and 6, it says, When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times all the seasons which the Father hath put in his power. But ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and ye shall be witness, witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And where is that happening? This is happening now. You know, you've got the internet. People, people I mean, like, like uh, brothers have been bringing out a lot recently, is it still recording? So it's like, I was just checking if it was still recording. And like brothers have been bringing out a lot recently. Um, there's no excuse. Or rather, that was the eldest luck. Like, there's no excuse nowadays. You've got the internet. The, 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 if you haven't heard this truth, I mean, you can't, you can't say you haven't heard this truth because you, you, this word is coming out everywhere on the face of the earth. You know, you've got brother, you've got the elders in New York, you've got brothers all over the US, you've got brothers in the islands, um, there's probably brothers down there in Latin America. There's brothers over here in Europe, mainland Europe, England. You know, I mean, even here in England, you've got brothers up and down the country. You know, and um, yeah, so that's just that's just basically been the the main point that I wanted to bring out because without reincarnation, that would make the Most High lie, and the Most High is not a liar. And if, if the Bible ever seems like it's contradicting itself, it's you that needs to learn. The Bible doesn't contradict itself. You just have no understanding. And um, on that note, I'm just going to close up. Um, oh, praise Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shalom.